All right, just wanted to do a video responding to some of the lies of Jacob Thompson. He is a idolater of Brian Dillinger. I've done videos rebuking him in the past, but this time he came out and again attacked me among some other people in a video called about Leech Ministries. And I was gonna show you how he totally lies and uh, just nitpicks. I mean, this guy is just totally, he's a professional at just taking little things, nitpicking over them and, and just making a, a mountain out of a molehill basically. And let me just let me just show you a verse of scripture on this matter. Um, hopefully my audio is not too loud. Uh, haven't used OBS in quite a while, so just bear with me. But Proverbs chapter 14, verse 5, a faithful witness will not lie, but a false witness will utter lies. And that's what Jacob Thompson does. He just utters nothing but lies and false accusation in this, this video right here about uh, what a leech ministry looks like. So he, he mentions me, attacks me, and it's funny too how the Brian the Brian Dillinger followers are saying guys like me are obsessed. Meanwhile, I mean I have not mentioned Brian Dillinger for several months now. Meanwhile, these guys just keep attacking me in the comment section and in videos as well, apparently. So who is really obsessed with who? But um, and like I said, Jacob Thompson, he's a respecter of persons towards Brian. So of course, you know, what do I expect? But this is about um, he's talking about the whole blue light glasses thing, and uh, he seems to actually have left out a couple things. Uh, maybe on purpose, maybe by accident, but either way, he lies, okay? So in this video, he's, let me just skip it. I think it's about, uh, where is it? I'd say about uh, seven minutes and 46 seconds. Okay, listen to, listen, just listen to what he says here. And I, this is the first time I came on wearing my, 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 uh, my, uh, my glasses, my, my blue light blocking glasses. And I said, I like them, whatever, right? So, hey, it's okay to condemn me and everything was right, but then, oh, literally a week later, April 9th, all of a sudden he's got blue light glasses and he, you can go through his videos, he wasn't wearing them before that. Also, I want to point something else out as well, okay? Uh, if blue light glasses are good for your eyes and we maybe just happen to get them after he does, how does that mean, how does that prove that we're, we're leeching or mimicking you? I mean, what, what, what kind of logic is this? Just, just an example, okay? I got maybe, or no, I'll put it this way. Maybe I got these new, this new pack of melatonin because it helps me sleep at night. And then maybe one of us gets it later because we find it helps us sleep as well. That means we're somehow mimicking you and we're somehow leeching off you. I mean, seriously, that's your logic? I mean, it's ridiculous. See, just talk about nitpicking. But anyway, watch what he says. Oh, so it's okay to condemn me. You know, and, and tear down my ministry, but oh, I'll, but now I'll get some blue light glasses and everything else, or same thing. With, with what, like, what do you own the rights to blue light glasses? I mean, anyone can just get them, and it doesn't matter what time we get them. Again, just look at just the nitpicking and just grasping at straws and making a mountain out of a molehill. I mean, this guy does this all the time. With this dork, um, this this runt, uh, John Craggins' his name. I have a video on my channel. He was crying over a, a it was crying one time over a dollar. He, he donated one. No, that, that's a lie. I was not crying. In fact. This is what he kind of leaves out in his video against me that one time. I was simply showing him, I was saying to him, hey, if you think I'm lost now, then give me my, my money back because you shouldn't be taking money from a lost person then. And of, of course, he, he he actually mentions that in his video and tries to twist what I was saying, saying, well, you know, it's about charity or, or like he, he quotes some verse in 1 Corinthians 13. I watched the video, but it was just, he was really trying to scrape the bottom of the barrel to try to find some way to prove that, I, that he wasn't a hypocrite. Um, that doesn't prove anything, okay? Go into 1 Corinthians 13 because remember, you know, he thought I was a lost man. So him taking my money, but still thinking I'm lost, that means he's a hypocrite, okay? It doesn't matter if if you thought I was saved when I was giving you the money. If you believe it's wrong to take money from a lost person, then why you why would you not send me my money back? You know, he seems to miss that whole point. He kind of glosses over that and tries to, you know, deflect from the main point, because why? Well, he couldn't handle it, that's why. But watch what he says here. Just, I mean, watch, and watch how he totally lies once again. Dollar me the one time. And then, and then and then and then he wanted it back, and he was just whining and crying. But you can see here again, he's he's not wearing it, wearing any. And then all of a sudden, right after a few weeks later, hey, he's got blue light glasses. I wonder where he got those you know, the inspiration from. You know, the inspiration from, huh? Where's your proof on that, huh? Where's the proof? Where's the proof that I was supposedly inspired by you? See, the burden of proof is on him. See, he doesn't show any proof. He doesn't show a video where I saying, oh, I was inspired by Jacob Thompson. It's just his words. And I want to know, want you to know something else out as well. And if you if I sound kind of angry, well, quite frankly, this guy has lied about me. He just told blatant lies about me and other people as well that I'm, I'm, you know, I fellowship with and, you know, I consider good friends and brothers in Christ. So yeah, this guy needs to be called out. He's a, he's a little arrogant novice who has no business trying to be in ministry. And by the way, too, he says, what a leech ministry. I'm not a minister. I've never once claimed to be a minister. I don't make that, that claim of title. I actually do not believe that people in their, their early 20s ought to be in ministry. 
That includes you, Jacob, by the way. I believe that ministers should be at least in their late 20s or early 30s. So, you know, if I was a minister, I'd be violating my own my own stance. So I've never once claimed to be a minister. I just make videos on the internet. But this guy, this, ar this arrogant little punk here, this arrogant little novice claims to be a minister. But uh, like I said, notice how he kind of glosses over some of the stuff, some of the live streams I did. So I want, I want to just point something out. The video he referenced in question was my video rebuking Watchman D. It was uh, this video, or no, uh, what was it? It was this video right here. Now notice, this was premiered on April 24th, 2021. Okay, that was when I first began wearing these blue light glasses on camera. Now notice how he glosses over these other videos that I did and this is what he misses, okay? I was actually complaining about eye strain weeks prior to getting the blue light glasses, okay? Here's one of the live streams. This was on, premiered on April 6, 2021, more than two weeks prior. Okay, watch this. Watch what I say. Because it's like I'm too young to be having eye problems, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I've only just started using reading glasses in the last... Uh... Think 15, no, maybe 20 years. Yeah, my, my uh, eye doctor I saw about a year ago, he actually said that my eyes are pretty healthy and I probably won't need glasses for a long time. But it's like, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I'm surprised. I, I'm actually surprised I don't need glasses, quite frankly, because I, I want the computer quite a lot. So I'm actually kind of surprised. Well, if you damage your eyes now, it'll only get worse. Yeah. yeah. So I, I definitely want to get some of those, those blue light glasses. Yeah. See, see, that was why I was mentioning it. I was complaining about eye strain. Again, this was on April 6, 2021, about more than two weeks prior to my video where I first started showing them. Now, here is again, this is another stream I posted on April 6. And by the way, this is when I posted them. These were actually streamed even before that. So watch, watch what I say right here. Again, I'm complaining about eye strain and talking about why I need blue light glasses. We could do another live stream later if you want. If you want. Oh, yeah, I'd love to, John. Yeah, I just, I'm, just, I'm just I'm just starting to get eye strain, so yeah. my eyes are hurting, so I just have to step away. Do you need some proper glasses or something? I actually do. I do plan on actually ordering some of the blue light glasses because, you know, I don't like getting eye strain. Also, I want to point something else out as well. At the time, I was very tight on cash, so I, I really could not afford to spend a whole lot of money off Amazon. So that's why I had to wait to, to get the blue light glasses till I could, you know, save up some money and everything. You know, because unlike Brian and Jacob, I'm not getting thousands of dollars every single week in donations or every month in donations. I, I live on a pretty tight budget, actually. I barely am able to, to even buy enough groceries in some cases, you know, so I had the weight to conserve money. But I, again, here's another one where I was complaining about eye strain. Again, this was on April 7th on 2021. Again, more than two weeks prior. You know what I mean? Uh, exactly, yeah. I have to get going now. My eyes are just hurting me again. I, I can only do it for so long before I get eye strain. So I I, I don't want to hurt my eyes. I, I'll be I'll be getting going now. Okay then. Yeah. Well, once I, once I get those like once I actually buy those uh what are those things called blue light, blue light glasses I'll be able to do it a lot longer. Just my eyes are hurting. Yeah. Yeah. Here, I, now I want to point something else out as well. If I was supposed to try to mimic JT. Why would I wait two weeks to buy blue light glasses if I could have just bought them like the same day? What's the logic behind that? Again, just notice how JT is just nitpicking and just, just making huge issues out of stuff and just grasping at straws to try to find some kind of argument. It's ridiculous. But again, notice how I'm again complaining about eye strain. And these, these are just three live streams. I did a couple more live streams where I was talking about where I had to get off early because my eyes were hurting. So uh, Jacob Thompson seemed to kind of left that out. Maybe on purpose, maybe not, but the, considering how much the guy lies, I really have no reason to to really suspect uh, the guy's going to be and in, in, have any kind of honesty when he talks about me or anyone else. It's that simple. But the bottom line is is that Jacob Thompson uh, is the kind of fruit that has sadly come out of Brian's movement. And me personally, I don't totally blame Brian because I I do I do uh, wish all the best for Brian. I do pray for him. Uh, I do uh, you know I really wish no harm upon him. But Jacob Thompson, I, I've said this before is the reason why young people in their early 20s, like myself, you know, like I said, I, I do the standard of myself. That's why I don't claim to be a ministry. I actually work. 
Okay, I actually don't just take donations all the time. I do have a donation system, but you know, it's totally optional. I'm not making 40, you know, 50 minute videos lecturing you about donations. It's that simple. It's totally optional. I mean, but the bottom line is, is that this is the reason why young people in their early 20s who, by the way, who whose uh, brain is not even fully developed because your your prefrontal cortex is developed at the age of 25, which is the part of good decision making. So when you're like in your early 20s, like JT and myself, uh, you ought to not be getting in a position of, of ministry because this is the fruit of these young kids who get, try to get into ministry. They're prideful, they're arrogant, they're novices, and they just will not be corrected. And they're just liars. They can't stand it when you speak against them. You know, it's not just JT. I've seen this a lot with, with young people, you know, in their early 20s who are below the age of 30 who are trying to get into ministry, they get this kind of uh, superiority complex about themselves and God complex almost. And they just hate it when you question them and speak against them. It's that simple. So uh, yeah, Mark and avoid JT does. Uh, do I believe he's saved? I believe so. Okay. I really, I'm not, I'm not just kind of person. I'm not like the Denlinger people who just call people lost because you spoke against me. No, I, I, I want to believe he's saved quite frankly. I, I've, I used to have fellowship with them. Uh, there is some good fruit that has come out of his ministry, but he really ought to not be trying to get into ministry in general. You know, he ought to step down and study some more and get out of this prideful, arrogant, you know, novice mentality that is very common among youth and early, you know, young adults in their early 20s. It's that simple. So, yeah, Mark and avoid JT. Uh, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. And just don't believe his lies. He just loves nitpicking and just grasping at straws. But anyway, like I said, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.